All right, got the yard cleaned up and everything's dumped here in my big compost pile. So, looks a lot better. Boy, I sure do make a mess when you're cutting and splitting firewood. Everything's cleaned up and ready to make another mess for next year. I also have all this cleaned up. I didn't show this, but uh, you guys remember when I built the woodshed and uh, I found a whole bunch of old siding that was under that boat and it was all rotted and full of ants and uh, oh, what a mess. So I cleaned all this up in here, got rid of all that stuff, hauled it out. And next, all right, so for those of you new to the channel, this is, is my bush hog, and uh, it's definitely not a new one. It's a very, very old bush hog. Uh, this bush hog is, mm, I'm gonna date it to the 60s, but I'm not really sure. I really don't have any idea. I found this, uh, in a farmer's field he gave it to me he said you can have it it was there was nothing left of it the only thing that was left was the gearbox the blades and uh, a piece of the frame everything else this was all rusted gone completely so uh, I checked the gearbox gears were good and that's the important thing it was full of oil and there was no water in it so uh, that was good blades eh, they're okay good enough and uh, so with a little bit of work and uh, uh, some steel and uh, I welded up a brand new uh, shell for it and yeah so I don't know it seems to work anyways good enough for down here man I just do it I just do the road once a year with it so uh, I don't have a lot of money into it I got I don't know uh, well I painted it so uh, I got the cost of the paint and uh, that's about it so uh, and I've been using it I got that oh man when did I get this thing I don't know must be 20 years ago and uh, so, so, and uh, it was just a, like I said, it was just a rusted out haul. So uh, I figure it's got to at least date back to the 60s. I don't know, maybe more, who knows. But uh, for down here, it works okay. I do the road once a year, like I said, and uh, it, uh, it serves me, so. Look at that sitting on the road right there. Oh man, and I don't have my shotgun. Seriously? Oh, she's kind of come right over to me, look. Yeah, come here little birdie. Yeah, here she comes. Yeah, I mean, I could hunt. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, seriously, she's going to she's going to jump right in the tractor. She's checking out the bucket of the tractor. Oh, yeah. Wait, what do you got in there, man? Now, where did she go? Oh, there she is. Hey. What's that? Really? Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> this is your lucky day. <laughs> I'm guessing the 9 mil would probably... Yeah, better not. Wouldn't do her any good. <laughs> oh my she she seriously just jumped up on the bucket of the tractor are you kidding me see this is what i'm talking about this oh man she's in the bucket of my tractor 
What's that? Hey, why don't you just jump up here and sit on the steering wheel? That'd be great. Come on. Unbelievable. She's in the bucket of the tractor. <laughs> you're you're tempting fate. Well, that's the way it goes. Never fails, never fails. Well, all right, the road is done for another year, and uh, I believe that should be the last chore that I need to do with the tractor before winter. So now that that is done, probably next week or so, uh, I will put the chains on. I'll give it another week or so, just in case I think of something else I need to do, but I. I can't think of anything right now. I think I'm done. So, uh, yeah, I'll give it a week and uh, put the chains on, and that's it. Okay, since uh, we're not having partridge tonight, um, I do have a little buffalo as a backup, and uh, so uh, I'm going to take the tractor back to the cabin and uh, do a little more work around there, clean up a little bit more. And uh, I will see you back there. Well guys, what better way to end a hard day at the office than with a nice cold one? 
Oh yeah. And, and a nice piece of buffalo for the grill. And uh, in other news, I still don't have my solar uh, rigged up for my fridge yet, so I still don't have a fridge. I uh, just haven't got around to it yet, but I, I, I've got to pick up the wire. So um, uh, once I get the wire, I can build that, the, uh, the frame that it needs. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll have uh, a fridge for the winter. I think that should be done. Great thing about buffalo, it does not take long to cook. Just a few minutes on each side. Wow. My compliments to the chef. Man, that's good. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Listen, crazy days ahead, guys. Crazy days. First, we got Halloween coming up, and uh, I believe time falls back this weekend, right? It's this weekend? Pretty sure it is. Anyway, so that happens, and then, uh, yeah, we all know what Tuesday is, right? So, uh, <laughs> all I can say is buckle up. It's going to be a heck of a ride. All right, I'm done. I uh, want to thank you guys for watching. If you're new, subscribe. Hey, don't forget to uh, smash the old thumbs up. I appreciate that support. Uh, you guys definitely uh, stay safe, take care, and hopefully we will see you soon back here at the cabin.